Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to wrap up the mudding in the remodel area of the tiny house. Okay, so I have all of my corners done, all of the taping is done. What I need to do right now is a little bit of sanding. I'm going to pull out the vacuum with the sanding pad and get some of this stuff. And I have some stuff to fix over here. And then once all that's done, I'm going to vacuum up all that dust. And then I'm going to get at this with the skim coat. The skim coat, if you look at this corner, the actual corner is raised. So you use a real wide knife and you go from the corner out to way out here and you get a real nice blend. Well, a professional would get a real nice blend. We'll hope that I can. Okay, so we're gonna start with sanding and hopefully we can get the skim coat on today. I had a lot of other stuff to do and it's already past noon. So let's get going with the sanding. show you this before I vacuum it up. Look at all of that dust. That's from me sanding this corner. I had problems right in this area. I had to cut this out with a knife. The paper kind of bubbled out on me. Not sure how it happened, but it was sticking out, oh, a good eighth of an inch and you could still see the edge of it right there. The rest of this is pretty good, but I put way too much mud in this corner. That corner is just fine, but this one is a mess. But it's gonna look perfect when it's done. I'm gonna patch this up and we'll get a skim coat on this and you'll never know how bad of a job I did in this corner when it's all done. Okay. The entire room is sanded and ready for the skim coat. It'll be my first time with this perfect 90 stuff, but I think it's going to come out really well. I think the doorway is probably going to take two coats, but we'll see on that. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this. Yeah, I think with a wide knife, I'll be able to go from the corner all the way back to here we have a divot here because this needs to be painted all the way up to this edge so this part right here 
really needs to be done. And then when I start drywalling on the other side, I'm going to have to get in here and mud again. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we figure out how to do that. Yeah, that came out really well. So I'm going to go have lunch, come back, mix up some thinner mud, and we'll get to skim coating this. I looked for, I don't know, it was probably a half hour, 45 minutes for my stir thing. And I never found the one that I wanted, but this will have to do. I found two really big ones, but I don't want really big ones. All right. I'm hoping I can mix the correct amount to get this whole thing done. It's going to take a fair amount and I'm not going to be able to reuse whatever's left. And I'm not exactly sure how good of a condition this mud's in to start with. Uh, I'm going to need two hands for this. While I was saying that, I thought I better go make sure that I have everything I need, especially the drill. And I found the stir thing. I looked everywhere for it. I looked out in the machine shed, over in the shop. <sighs> all right. I'm not sure if I'm going to need the corner knife at all. What I really want to do is taper from the corner outwards. So hopefully I don't have to use the corner knife and we'll just use that 12 inch one. And hopefully the mud is good. What happened was I left this open overnight and Got a little bit of crustiness and any little any little bit of stuff that's in there like on this side here that'll mess with your finish but when you're mixing it with water and whipping it up that might get rid of a little bit of it all right let's do this Take a fair amount, try not to grab the stuff off the sides. I'm really only putting on a thin coat, so. Hopefully that's enough. sure to close that all the way. Now, grab the water. And hope I didn't add too much. for this instead of the hawk. Yeah, I don't think I made enough. And I use this knife to get some on the wall too. Thank you. 
you have the instructions on this Perfect 90 says that you don't need to scrape it all the way into the corner. So we're going to test that out. this yesterday and it's had oh nearly 24 hours to dry and there's just tiny little bits where I need to sand I'll feather this edge out a little bit with the sander as well but for the most part the entire room is really good except for a little bit at the top of the door and I need to get this door opening so any place where I have like this I can probably feather the edge of this and get this nice and perfect what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this really quick there's just tiny little places where there's a little bit of stuff sticking up and I don't want to hit that with the knife because that'll make a mess so I'm going to go around real quick and get that off and then we'll put another coat on this and that should wrap it up for the drywalling. Alright, let's get going with that sander. I'll check back in with you as soon as I'm done with that. Okay, I went over the entire room, sanded with a block and with the vacuum sander and all of this is ready to go. There's some tiny little imperfections, like in that corner right there. They're really tiny. What I'm going to do is get this thing primed up, and I'll just cover that with spackle. All i got to do is run a tiny little bead of spackle. And like this Perfect 90, a little bit of the paper is showing, but it says that no compound is required over the laminated area of perfect 90 so that should paint up just perfect and this is really nice as well i want as little joint compound as i can on these walls because we got big molding going in here all right so i do need a little compound over the door and inside on the jams i'll show you the other corners here same thing as the other one we got a little bit of the paper showing but a real nice taper this corner came out damn near perfect and again when i go over this with a damp sponge i'm going to go over the entire room with a just barely damp sponge and what that does is takes off any of the dust that's on the wall and it'll feather any of the edges in. You just scrub just a tiny bit harder and it'll feather the edge in. Once I get this primed, if there's any tiny little pucks or anything by the screws or in any other areas, I'll just cover that with spackle. This is gonna get two coats of primer. And well, basically the next time you see this, it's gonna be all primed up except for doing the store. So let me mix up some mud. We'll get this area right here mudded and that's gonna be it for today.
Not the best job I've ever done. <laughs> Not by a long shot. But I'll get this fixed up with a little bit of sandpaper and another coat in a different video. This stuff right here will just knock off once it's dry. But like I said, we're going to get this thing primed. Two coats of primer. And the next time you see any work in here, I believe it's going to be the ceiling going in. I'm thinking it's the ceiling. Then I have to fix the floor, fix that hole, sand the floor, and then we're going to paint the whole thing, then put the floor in, then put all the trim in. It's going to look really, really cool in here. I don't know if I'm going to help Natalie put the shelves up. She's putting shelves all the way across this wall, organizing shelves, and she's going to have her office in here for the time being. And I believe she's going to put, oh, what the heck? I think she's going to put organizing over there as well and a place for her coat and stuff like that. And then I'll be doing some built-ins over here. The ladder that swings out, but before that, I'll probably be making a temporary ladder with the same angle on it, but it won't fold up. I'll just make it out of two by sixes. Yeah, really cool. So if you want to see any of those videos, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.